Hi everyone. In the previous classes, we have seen how to construct synchronous up counters, right? So, and also we have discussed how to construct synchronous down counters, right? So the point here is, why can't we construct a circuit where the circuit will act as up counter or down counter based on the inputs? So that is what I would like to discuss in this particular class. So for that I have taken an example for 2 bit synchronous up down counter. Right? So basically you know the procedure how to construct a synchronous counters. The first one is you have to identify what kind of flip flops they are. So here I decided to go with the construction with the help of uh, T flip flops. Right? If I am going to find the deciding uh, the design for T flip flops. The second step is you have to write down the excitation table for the T flip flops, right? So I am going somewhat fast. If you want, you can go through the earlier videos, right? So the second step is you have to go with the uh, excitation table for the T flip flop. So if I am going to have present state as given and next state as given plus one, what might be the T flip flop value, right? So the possibilities are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1 1 right so states are changed at which locations not changed at which locations 0 0 is not changed so latch mode so this will be 1 1 guy right 1 1 is not changed so it is latch mode so 0 and these two are toggle mode so I have called it as 1 right this is the corresponding excitation table for the T flip flop right so this will becomes under step 2 once we done with the the step 2 you can go with the step 3 in step 3 you have to go with the state diagram as per our requirement right the requirement here is in the single circuit diagram they are asking for up as well as down count right let us go with if we are going to have two bits how many power values are going to get one is 0 0 another one is 0 1 another one is 1 0 another one is 1 1 right so this is what we can call it as up counter right so 0 0 it is moving from 0 1 0 1 it is moving to 1 0 1 0 it is moving to 1 1 1 1 it is moving to 0 0 so this is what we can call as up counter right so when you go with the down counter what is going to happen if we are at 1 1 it will move to 1 0 if we are at 1 0 it will move to 0 1 if we are at 0 1 it will move to 0 0 if we are at 0 0 it will move to 1 1 right so red color indicates down counter and my blue color indicates up counter guys right so this is the respect to state diagram right once we draw the state diagram we can go with uh, the respect to excitation table right so if you are trying to have the excitation table basically you are going to have uh, the present state the present state and next state this is as per normal processor right if you are going to take let me take uh, somewhat above mm, this will be q2 and this will be q1 and this will be the q2 next state and q1 next state right so this is present state and this will be the next state guys here i, I what i will do now i will try to take out first up counter values right so if i am going to have 0 0 as possibility 0 1 possibility 1 0 possibility 1 1 possible right if 0 0 is the value is the present state what will be the next state 0 1 if 1 if 0 1 is the present state what will be the next state 1 0 if 1 0 is the present state what will be the next state 1 1 if 1 1 is the present state what will be the next state 0 0 right so these are the possibilities for up counter right meaning that if i say i can call them in single blue color for your understandability right if i try to write down the down counter values right so down counter values possibilities are what 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right if i am printed the present state as 0 0 what may the next state 1 1 if i am printed as 0 1 0 1 what might be the next state see if i am presented the 0 0 as a present state what might be the next state in down counter red color red color right so that is 1 1 that is what i have written if i am presented as 0 1 what might be the next state in red color 0 0 0 0 if i am present at wait if I am present at 1 0, 1 0, what will be the next state? 0 1. If I am present at 1 1, what will be the next state? 1 0. Right? Yes. So, if I if extend this table, so this is 
so this is what is for the purpose of down counters right yes but the point is here we need to have a kind of excitation table where it is used for to represent both up counter as well as down counter right can we be able to take some kind of control in asynchronous up and down counters also we have taken some kind of control right for example if i take the control input as m control input as m the meaning of m is it's a kind of a control input if i say that m value is 0 what does the meaning of this on user is asking for to perform up counter if i say that m value is 1 user is asking for the performance of a down counter down counter right next try to construct the excitation table for this if you go with the excitation table as it is two bit uh, counter you require to have two flip flops one is t2 another one is t1 so t2 you are going to get the values as see this is 0 0 latch mode so this will be 0 0 1 changing toggle mode 1 1 to uh, latch mode 1 0 toggle mode toggle mode what about the t1 t1 is 0 1 toggle mode 1 0 toggle mode 0 1 toggle mode 1 0 toggle mode similarly in the down counter also down counter also try to take uh, this is 0 this will be the one toggle mode 0 0 latch mode 1 0 toggle mode 1 1 latch mode right similarly if you take out the t1 0 1 toggle 1 0 toggle 0 1 toggle 1 0 toggle so all are going to be ones see guys i haven't done any any magic here i just have gone through the combining of both the up counter as well as down counter now once we drawn once we drawn the state diagram and the circuit diagram circuit excitation table you can go with the simplification right so how can we simplify it so you can you can able to take the value of t2 right what might be the value of t2 t2 value is this one you can able to get this value by combining this three m q2 and q1 right so for example if i try to take so how many values are there eight values are there m q2 and q1 right similarly for t1 guys i think t1 you need to go with the, the table right because uh, you can you can directly understood q2 q1 so all are going to be ones so it will be so the t1 value is going to be one so it's going to be one right what might be the t2 value t2 value is so you have to go with this particular value 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 and 1 double 0 1 1 0 for this you have to place the one right so 0 0 1 so if if extend uh, with the values 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 this is 0 1 right so 0 0 1 is going to be 1 0 1 1 is going to be 1 1 double 0 1 1 1 0 is going to be 1 right yes how can we combine if i combine these two as one unit and these two as one unit this is the this is the best possibility right so now what might be this value this value will be definitely m definitely m because it is 1 and what is not changing 0 is not changing so m q1 bar so this value will be m bar m bar q1 m bar q1 right yes so which is equal to so t2 means what m q1 bar plus m bar q1 right yes now once we got the equations once we got the expressions can we able to write the logic diagram for this yes so what you can do simply take the two t flip flops and you are going to connect it with the same clock same clock and this will be the t1 and output it is q1 q1 bar t2 q2 and q2 bar q2 bar right so as per the expressions t1 value you have to pass as 1 value well, i have passed as 1 right yes what might be the uh, what might be the t2 value 
t2 value you have to have this combinatorial circuit this combinatorial circuit right here is the expression this should be combinatorial circuit so if i say that m i have taken m i have taken this is a kind of a line which will produce the value of m you have to take m and q1 bar m and q1 bar right so this will be the m q1 bar and the next expression is m bar q1 right so uh, what you can do this can be a kind of not gate you will get m bar then you can go with uh, q1 m q1 finally you got then you have to use a kind of or gate or gate that should be connected to the t2 to this right so this is the corresponding diagram which will uh, get two bit synchronous up down count synchronous up down count i hope you understood clearly thank you